I was working on my app image video when I got this comment that I'm under a huge misconception about what flat packs are. So in case somebody understood me wrong or just do doesn't know why I mentioned flat packs, I will start from the beginning, just so we are on the same page. For many years, if developer wanted to distribute their application to any of the Linux distro, they will need to package it in the format that that distribution uses. You can understand why it's completely pointless to package one thing in so many different ways. It's just a waste of time. And you have to know the process that every distribution uses. And this is what you had on Linux for many, many years. I don't know why Linux community couldn't agree on just one package manager, but this is what existed. So not to go into history when something was developed, how and by whom, this is the situation now. Except for the distribution on package manager, you have app image, you have flat pack, you have snap, and you have Nix. This is all the ways you can install packages on Linux. From all these package managers, Flatpak and Snaps are here just to, to make it easy for developers to distribute their application to Linux distributions. Nix package manager is a completely different story and app image is just on another level from all of them, in my opinion. And in this video, I will tell you all about app image advantages as I see them and how comparing app image with Flatpak and Snap are like comparing oranges and apples. Let's get first something out of the way. In order for app image to work, a uh, Linux distribution has to have libfuse installed which is unfortunately as there is no active regular contributions. But from my experience, all the app images that I installed worked just fine. I hope somebody picks this project up because app images are, in my opinion, the best package format for Linux. For the sake of this video, I downloaded a few app images just to show you how easy it is to work with them. So where do you get an app image? Well, you can get it from the developer homepage. And if you go to download, since it recognizes I'm on Linux, Kipas has an application package as app image, and you just click on download and it will offer you to download the file. You can save it in whichever folder you want, or you can go to app image hub, but I think this is not such a reliable place because there are packages which are very old and I, I don't know who put them there. So the safest way is to just go to the developer's homepage. So once you downloaded an app image, just change the permission for the app image and make it executable. And in, in your file manager, you just double click they execute and the application is opened and that's it. You have the whole application in one file that you can run on any Linux distribution from any folder that you want. This is amazing. Now, where does app image store its config file? It saves the config files in your home folder, wherever the application usually saves the dot files. If it's normal application, it will uh, save it in .config or you can save it in directly in your home folder. However, App Image has something called portable mode, which basically says if you create a directory that is the same name as the App Image, but has .config in its name, and you start the application, and let's say I change something in the preferences, for instance, auto save every five minutes. Okay, I close the application. As you can see, all the preferences that you change in applications are now stored in that folder. Do you understand what this means? This means that you can have one folder with all your applications and all of your application settings, and you save it, for instance, to external disk. You pair that with live CD or you put all on Ventoy and you practically can have 
your desktop on every computer you want with all your applications, with all your settings, without any installation whatsoever. It can't get better than this. The only thing that I know that exists that is easy and portable like this are Windows portable applications. There are some additional things that I want to mention as well. If you run an uh, app image from Dolphin and you get uh, this notification for security reasons, blah, 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 you need to go to configure, configure Dolphin, confirmations, and here when open an ex executable file, run script. And next time you double click, it will just open the application. If you want to get fancy, you download app image launcher light as an app image from this link. I will leave it in the description, of course. And in terminal, you run this command. So the name of the app image and then install. Or you can just uh, use the installation package for your distribution. Now that app image launcher is installed, you can just run the settings. Here you can define the default location for your applications. And let's say you download your app image to downloads. If you double click uh, to run the app image, the app image launcher will automatically move it to this folder. And this, and that is what this check mark is for. And here you can define additional folders where you want to watch for your app images. Let's say I downloaded another app image. Now that app image launcher is installed, I can just run it with the data application. Integrate and run means that uh, it will move uh, the app image to applications folder and it will make a uh, desktop icon in the start menu. As you can see, the file was moved to the application folder. Unfortunately, it had some gibberish in the name of the file, but that's okay. And you run program as any other. And if you can see here in my, in my start menu, I have the icon to run the program. And like I said, this works on any distribution that has that libfuse uh, package installed. And it doesn't matter if some distribution uh, hates, I don't know, snaps or the flat packs. You can just run this wherever, no matter of the politics of specific distribution. So here are some additional benefits that make app images so great. As you already know, one application, one file, and you download it and you have it. And to update this application, you will get this notification that new version is available and the app image will automatically be downloaded if the developer made it so, of course. But let's say I don't want to do that. I will just download the file myself when I want to upgrade. And here, as you can see, I have multiple versions of Obsidian. So why is this great? Let's say Obsidian decides to put the application behind the paywall or decides to put telemetry in like Audacity did. I can always use this version and I don't have to upgrade at all. With flat packs and snaps, you can't do that. You can only, I mean, you can update maybe one package at a time, but if you have multiple applications, that's just nonsense. And here I just decide which application I want to update or not. For me as a user, this is like the perfect package manager. So I can't understand why would anybody use flat packs over app images. But I guess like everywhere in the world, that's how in the open source money talks. And since flat packs are from Red Hat and they have the money, of course, community decided that flat packs are way to go, which in my opinion is a big mistake 